As much as the march was for her, I thought, it was for me. And it was everybody, she said. And thus began her nine-month journey of running for office and moving from the streets to the state house. In November, Fowler became one of 15 Democrats to win a seat in the Virginia House of Delegates, 11 of them women. On Saturday, she addressed the 2018 Women's March on Washington holding a sign that read, I marched. I ran. I won. It was a far, far smaller march on Washington this year, sponsored not by the Women's March Incorporated based in New York City, but by March Forward Virginia, a state-based organization that sent a contingent to the last march on D.C. At peak, the gathering around and, despite many warnings from stage to please step off the melting ice on the frozen reflecting pool in front of the Lincoln Memorial on the mall numbered in the thousands, and interviews with those in the crowd showed most came from the Potomac region of stretching from northern Virginia to southern Maryland. While few of them had run for office, many had spent that past year doing organizing work in their communities. When the Women's March started in 2017 it was more of a moment, right? It hadn't really become a movement, said marcher Renee Greenwell, now an organizer with Indivisible Arlington. I guess we got to see the birth of a movement. We have gotten substantially more engaged. I talk to the staff of my congressional and senate representatives pretty regularly, to the point where they recognize me. The march was just one of 250 around the country organized by March On, the coalition of 2017 sister marches that took place around the country on the same day as the first Women's March on Washington. In Las Vegas, the leaders of the New York City-based Women's March organization launched an effort to register one million new voters from historically disenfranchised groups. Marches in Chicago, Los Angeles and New York City drew enormous crowds. The goal of the day was to further encourage women to run for office, highlight the need for year-round voter registration and civic engagement efforts, and work to lift the voices of community groups. March Forward Virginia co-founder Emily Patton told News Pulse News. Senator Tim Kaine, DVA, House Democratic Leader Nancy Pelosi, D. California and an array of Democratic House leaders spoke, using the opportunity to decry the government shutdown, as did Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, DNY, who had emerged even before Trump's election as a leading advocate against sexual violence and has since cemented her position as the most vocally feminist United States Senator. A year ago, we saw the rebirth of the women's movement, said Gilly Brand. Men and women came together across the country and across the world for the single largest global protest in history. It was one of the most inspiring moments of my entire political career. She encouraged the crowd to stay active. The only time our democracy has ever worked is when regular people just like you stand up and demand it. Do not wait for a white knight to march on Washington or the party to solve the problem. You will be waiting forever. It is the grassroots, it is you who will create the message, she told the crowd. Run for president, a voice in the crowd cried out when she was done speaking. I'm 63. This is my Selma. That's what I say to people back home, said Laura Umfenar who had missed the Women's March on Washington last year and traveled all the way from Springfield, M.O., to catch it this year. I was too young or too ignorant to be part of the earlier civil rights movements, she said. But now she knows, if you're silent, you're complicit.